Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. This is one of those videos that will be very quick and was brought to my attention by a lot of people giving me DMs on Instagram about it. So when I get about five to 10 DMs about something, I like to bring it to light in a YouTube video. But before we get into the video, we have the next modification finally for the Forerunner and its wheel spacers. Inch and a quarter, hub centric, by spider tracks, should hopefully be this weekend going on to it because when I went off-road in this past weekend with Yoda Mafia, well, let's just say for me not to spend money on bigger tires right now, I'm gonna see if this fills that gap. You guys know from a video I did months ago talking about getting bigger tires now or doing just wheel spacers just to give it an appearance look because in Florida, you don't need 285s. It looks so damn good. I got this, hopefully it'll go on this weekend. I will leave a link to this right now down in the description if you guys just wanna see it, if you're curious. But other than that, this is the next mod to come. So the video today, real quick, we're talking about Toyota and Mazda's little joint venture that they're having at the new Toyota Mazda plant that they are building in Alabama. So they're building it in Alabama. It was supposed to be Mazda having some SUV car and Toyota was gonna build the Corollas there. But since then, this is why this is news, Toyota has axed the Corolla being built there. They're still gonna keep building it in Mississippi. But Toyota recognizes, just like Ford did guys, Toyota recognizes that the future is not in cars now. The future is in SUVs that almost get car-like gas mileage, but you have a ton more room. Toyota has come out and said that it's gonna be a brand new SUV, one that's not in the lineup right now. So this could be some of their concept ones that they've had in the past. I think like the FT4X or something like that was one of them. And when you can get like the RAV4, when you could get something like that, that gets almost 35 to 40 miles per gallon and you could put a crap ton of stuff in the back, that's way better than a little car with a trunk. Toyota right now has the Avalon and the Camry. Pointless to have two in my opinion, but hey, I don't work for Toyota. They have the Corolla, they have the Yaris, they have a little sports car, another sports car, the MR2 that's supposed to be coming back out as well, the BRZ and the Supra, and the MR2 that's supposed to be coming back out. That's just so many cars, seven to eight cars. And technically the CHR is a small little crossover, but it's kind of a car. So this little crossover that they're talking about is gonna kind of slate somewhere either in between the RAV and Highlander, which I don't think so, or between the RAV and CHR. So a small little SUV would be very, very cool. Toyota is also talking about how people are into light duty trucks. They already have the Tacoma, right? So what does this mean? The Hilux coming over, we can, all, we can always hope, right? The Hilux coming over, but that's basically the exact same as the uh, Tacoma and its body on frame. So maybe, guys, if you remember back to April 1st, Yar, Yar Camino, whatever it was called, whatever we wanted to call it, Toyota teased that. But, you know, I like doing these videos to spark conversation and maybe this could be something that they're gonna be building there. The Yaris, and the Mazda 2 are the completely same car. Uh, it's all Mazda powered and everything, but Toyota just put their Toyota badge on it. Other than that, I, I'm curious though if Toyota, since it is a Mazda plant, will be making a little Yaris, you know, unibody truck there. You never know, you never know. So I just wanted to make this video. I will leave an article down in the description for you guys of some good information. If you guys like this video and you're excited about these wheel spacers, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. If y'all are new around here, please feel free to subscribe and I will catch you all in the next one. All right, see you later.